Hey YouTube, it's me, Martina. I'm back again with another great tutorial for you all. Now, a lot of people have been writing in or messaging me, you know, commenting, whatever, wanting to know exactly how I do my everyday um, eyeliner look, which is normally that black sort of cat eye, winged eye look. And uh, so basically I decided to go ahead and do a tutorial and show you all how I do it. Now it's pretty simple and I have three basic looks that I go for, some you know more than others but um, essentially there are three different looks that you can achieve with the black liquid eyeliner and I'm going to show you all that today so stay tuned and here it goes. The first thing that you will need or pretty much the only thing you will need is uh, some kind of liquid eyeliner. Now for me I'm very picky about my liquid eyeliner. Um, at first I started off, you know, experimenting with different brands, but I've come to find myself a staple product that I use literally, I've been using it for maybe probably like four, four years or so now. And I mean, I will not go to any other brand. Like, this is my staple product. And that is the Maybelline, it's called Maybelline Ultra Liner and it's waterproof. So Maybelline in New York Ultra ultra liner waterproof in the color um, I guess it's just a regular black because they do have a dark brown you don't want well I mean I don't use dark brown but if you want a dark dark black you should go with the black I think it's like coal black or something that's what I've been using the reason why I do not use the liquid I mean not liquid but the reason why I do not use a pencil is because I mean there's nothing wrong with using a pencil but to me I found that one this stuff stays on pretty much literally all day. Um, it's waterproof, so the only way that it will come off is if um, if I'm in the shower, if I'm washing my face, something like that. Maybe if I've been, you know, if my eye water is really bad, then it might kind of like uh, come off a little bit. It won't, it won't drip down with like the black, you know, kind of like rainy or spider effect or whatever you want to call it. It'll, it kind of comes off in clumps. So if for some reason it does get a little bit wet, it'll be like a small little clump and it's very easy to just, you know, open it and dot on like a couple little dots and fill in that area. So for me, I think um, the liquid eyeliner is the way to go. It's easier to apply, or not easier to apply, but it's easier to keep it on simply because you only have to apply it like once. I found that with a pencil I would have to um, sort of you know, touch it up maybe every two hours, every three hours, and the pencil would smudge. So, if you don't like smudges, and if you want an eye that will stay all day, you want to go with a liquid, waterproof eyeliner, preferably this. The reason why I chose this brand specifically is because um, the tip of the brush, if you can look, I don't know, you probably can't see that, but the brush, it's, um, it's literally a brush. Some of these liquid eyeliners come with more of like a like a spongy tip and I found that the sponge tip does not really put the eyeliner on there like in a thick line the way I like it so if you want it to be like a thick solid um, you know easy one line application then this brush is perfect for that so enough of why I chose this let's go ahead and get to how I do it Okay, there, like I said before, there are three different looks that I can go for. Um, the first one is just a simple, this is a simple, um, you know, everyday look. You can wear it with um, eyeshadow on, you can wear it without eyeshadow. It's just a simple, very um, understated look. So let me go ahead and show you that one, how I do it. Um, how I put it on, first off, you got to make sure you have the head, your head in the right, uh, right direction or whatever you want to call it. Um, I normally kind of tilt my head back a little bit and how, you know how Wendy Williams says like dim your eyes for the like, how you doing like that? Well, you want to dim your eyes, but you don't want to do it with your eyes. You want to sort of look straight ahead, tilt your head back so that your eyes kind of naturally dim and that way that's the perfect way to apply it. So I'm going to kind of get in here and show you all what I do. Now, like I said, this will kind of be, um, just a basic minimal minimal look here I'm going to show you first. Like I said, you want to tilt your head back so your eyes and look straight ahead. I'm going to be kind of looking this way so y'all can see me, but look straight ahead in the mirror and literally just sort of lightly line the uh, natural, natural shape of your eye. Nothing extra. Just the natural shape of your eye. 
as close to that waterline um, as possible without getting in it. <laughs> That's one thing. If you get this stuff in your eye, it does burn, so you don't want to get it in there. See that? Now this is the natural shape of my eye. I have kind of like an almond cat shape already. So, um, of course, you know, for different shape, different eye shapes, you probably want to go about it a different way to achieve the look you want. But if you have an almond sort of um, squinty, small cat eye, then uh, this is what it would look like on me. See? And this is the minimal one. I'm going to do it on the other eye too. Once again, just kind of tilt the head back and get it right on that lash line. And sometimes I'm not good with my left hand. I don't know why I'm using it, but I don't want to block the camera, so that's why I'm doing it with my left hand. But see, I'm messing it up. But yeah, let me go ahead and switch back over. You, um, yeah, just go ahead and get it as close to your line, your water line the lash line as possible without getting it in your eye. See that? Now this one, since I was using my left hand, I did kind of get it over a little further than I would like, but it's not that bad. Now this is the natural look, or the most, most natural in my opinion. I don't usually wear this one. I usually kick it up a notch and I go to the medium stage. And I'm going to show you how to do the look number two, which is the medium stage, right now. Basically how I do it is pretty much like what I just did, but I add a little extra on the end. Like on, um, I start pretty much at about the middle of the eye where the pupil, you know, that little black spot in your eye the pupil is and then that's when I kind of add a little more going to the edge of my eye and I'm going to show you that. So yeah starting at the pupil the middle of my eye kind of or the middle of my iris and just kind of go out more add an extra little layer on top. You see how that looks in comparison to the other eye? This is the eye with the first one on it. This is the eye that's kind of been oofed up a little bit. And I hope you can see the difference. Um, and there's not really that big of a difference. The only thing is this eye, of course, has more of that dramatic sort of like, um, sort of like cat eye effect a little bit. So it's a thicker, it's a thicker, it goes from thicker line to like thin line. So that's pretty much the illusion you get. And I think it kind of gives you more of a slant in your eye, if you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other eye too. Remember, start at the middle of the eye, the middle of the um, iris, which is the pupil. <laughs> start there. And then just sort of add a little more up here. And I normally try not to, when I, this is my everyday look, but um, I normally try not to go too far out because that's, you know, more dramatic and more Cleopatra-like. And I think for everyday wear, that's kind of not the look I'm going for. So I try to stop, uh -oh, got a little bit up there. But yeah, I try to stop about right there, if you can get a feel for where. I don't go past my eyebrow, past the end of my brow. See? And this is what that looks like. I'm going to close my eyes and show you. Okay. And that's what it looks like with my eyes closed. Now, I gotta tell you, for my everyday look, I also do the bottom row as well. You don't have to do that, but I do mine just because, because I like to. So let me go ahead and show you how I do that really quick. That's pretty simple and just literally going with the line of my outer, um, or the line outside of my waterline, the shape or whatever, the natural shape of my eye. 
Now when you do this, you want to also tilt your head down. You want to tilt your head down. That way you can get a better feel for the shape of your eye. And just literally fly on the waterline. Do not get it in the waterline because like I said, it will hurt. And then it starts to like dry or something in your eye. It kind of clumps up and it feels like you have trash in there. So you don't want to get it in there. You see? That's what it looks like. If you can see that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not cross-eyed. It's just kind of weird because I'm trying to look at the mirror and look at y'all at the same time. So very strange. And this is my bottom line versus no bottom line. I'm going to go ahead and add a bottom line to the other one too now. Like I said, you look down when you do this and just go with the natural line of your eye. And I also make sure that I kind of connect the two in the corner if you can see that. So you want to connect them and then just sort of drag it across in the natural shape of your eye. Don't put on too much because I found that if you put too much liquid on there then it kind of clumps up kind of, if that makes any sense. And there you go. That's what that looks like. Now, um, I usually put on some eyeliner, or not some eyeliner, but some um, mascara, and I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that on camera. But let me go ahead and skip to the final look, which is the more um, dramatic Cleopatra type look, which is I think this is something you would wear if you're going out, you know, for the night or something. If not, I wouldn't do this every day. So, I actually, I haven't worn it in this dramatic Cleopatra look in a long time. It's been some, probably some years. So, let me go ahead and show you that one. Pretty much, this one is, like, real dramatic. You want to get it all the way up to the top here. Once again, starting about, like, the midway of your eye. Taking it up. Make that line thicker and thicker as you get out towards the outside of your eye. And just bring it on out. Definitely more of a cat eye. For sure. <laughs> you see that? Oh yeah. Just keep on bringing it out. This one goes out pretty much like to the edge of my eyebrow, if you can see that. And then the black, the thickness of the black line pretty much does the whole crease, the whole crease of my eyelid. Um, on the inner eyelid, it's not the whole crease, but pretty much, like I said, once starting from like the middle area on out, the whole lid is black. The whole crease of my lid is black. I'm going to do it to the other eye now. I feel really Egyptian right now. <laughs> okay, once again you start, start, I'm going to start about right here. Then take it up gradually. Just cover the whole crease with the black. Can you see that? Keep covering the crease. Try not to blink that much because since it is liquid and it's not dry yet, it will kind of um, smudge off into your upper, like into your crease and you don't want that. I mean, you could just wipe it off, but still it's just kind of like, you know, if you don't have to do that, then don't. Then just, like I said before, just kind of take it right on out to the corner of your eye. Get real dramatic with it. Make sure you can see that. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Just wanted to make sure I had it even because you don't want to go out with like one eye up and one down. So <laughs> make sure that you have your little look drawn on pretty symmetric. And to me, this is also kind of, in my opinion, it looks a little bit retro, like maybe some like 50s look if you have like a little push-up thing going on, a pompadour or whatever you want to call it. You know, if you're into that look, this is kind of, kind of cute for that occasion. Like I said, nightlife or something a little more schnazzy. 
But um, I would definitely not, I don't, I don't know, I don't think I would wear this to work. I mean, depending upon where you work at and what you do for a living, if you have more of an artistic uh, profession, then maybe you could. But if you're working in, like, corporate America, this would definitely be a little too much, I think. I think it's really pretty. And like I said, I normally have on eyeshadow, which I've already, not eyeshadow, but I, um, mascara, which I've already applied, and that is the Lash Stiletto Voluptuous Waterproof by Maybelline. There you go. In the color black. Now, I don't know, I'm probably going to do a review on this. It's not my favorite, but I'll leave it at that since I'm going to do a review later. But yeah, so this is the look, y'all. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to close my eyes and let you see what it looks like. And that's it. That's my three different looks that I do with my Maybelline Ultra Liquid Eyeliner Waterproof. And like I said, this is what I recommend. Pick it up. If, you, if you're going to attempt a liquid eye, I say go with this. This is the best. The best I've ever tried. So go with that. And I um, hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope that I explained everything, uh, you know, pretty thoroughly. So... Yeah, this is it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you one final look. This is how I do my eye. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.